We're almost there folks, electric vertical takeoff and landing machines will take to the skies above crowded cities, carrying people from place to place faster than anything on land sooner than you may think. In fact, some people in this world are already experiencing such a sight. There's a good chance the history books will record the name Archer Aviation as the one who kickstarted this new industry. Although plenty companies are in pretty advanced stages with their own designs, this Stellantis-backed crew is so far along with its midnight aircraft we expect it to fly operationally any day now. A sign of that is the announcement the company made this week about successfully completing an initial flight of its midnight aircraft in the United Arab Emirates, one of the launch markets for the VTOL. The test was conducted at the Al Batin Executive Airport in Abu Dhabi, and it targeted the evaluation of the VTOL's performance in the harsh climate of the city, meaning high temperatures, a lot of humidity, and plenty of dust. Archer does not go into the specifics of the flight, but it appears everything worked so well that the company will now move to expand the testing program in the region in a bid to validate readiness for commercial deployment. The announcement comes shortly after Archer announced it conducted the first piloted flight of the midnight with the aircraft taking off and landing like a conventional aircraft, not like a helicopter. That's because, despite the fact that most of the time it will lift and come down vertically, the thing also has the ability to take off and land like a fixed-wing aircraft. When it arrives on the market, the Midnight will offer a means of travel for up to four people, speeds of 150 miles per hour, achieved by means of 12 propellers spun by an equal number of electric motors and travel distances of at 100 miles on a single charge of its six battery packs. The company will begin making the VTOL for its customers later this year, at a 400,000-square-foot production facility in Covington, Georgia, with help from car making giant Stellantis. The Midnight is expected to fly operationally as soon as next year, among others, United Airlines, Ethiopian Airlines, Abu Dhabi Aviation, and the US Air Force have expressed interest in it. It will be Abu Dhabi Aviation and Ethiopian though the ones to usher in the new era of airborne transportation, but it is unclear at this point just how many of these VTOLs will support the rollout. Over in the US, Archer has already presented plans to create an air taxi network in New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. As proof of the importance VTOLs will likely gain in the future, the Midnight was recently selected as the official air taxi of the LA 28 Olympic and Paralympic Games and as such it is expected to fly people during the event in Los Angeles in 2028. Archer plans to produce two midnights per month in the beginning, and will accelerate the pace of production to 54 per month as interest grows, 